Hey, Mr. Harris, how you doing today? You remember me? Man, what's up? Well, how I you thought, been? Well, I thought everybody forgot about me. No. You, you the lady from the, the, the interview lady. Yeah, that's me. Well, so well, you I, do remember me. Man, when I say I got so many letters last time you called. You did? Man, last time you came over here. I, mean, I talked to you on the phone last time you so called me. So you had a lot me. of fan mail. Yeah, last time you called me and I talked to you on the phone. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, everybody ready for me to get out of here. You got a lot of fans. Yeah. A, lot of, hey, a lot of people rooting you. for you. Yeah, hey, a lot of people rooting for you. That's all I want. That's all I want them to do. Do you mind we do another interview or are you busy? I'm in the interview. I, I mean, I ain't got, I woke for the head down, head down to the basketball court, but I was like, you know, I ain't, ain't want to go out there today. You might, it's kind of hot out there too now. It's really hot. I'm going to tell you, it's I, hot. Yes. It's day or night time. This daytime. This daytime. Okay, I don't know what's going on. They ain't got me no one. They, they transferred me over here. I don't know for what. Yeah. Um. I'm, that's what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to do an interview about it. I mean, we can do it. Whatever you want to do. Like I said, I ain't got too much going on. Okay. I'm I look. I'm straight. Yeah. You, I'm straight. you straight? Let's do it. You straight? Let's do it. Okay. Let's so you ready for the interview? Let's go. Let's All do right. Whatever you want to talk about. It makes about. six three one one two eight. Okay. All okay. right. Say it again. They heard it first time. Mr. Harris. Okay. Then let's talk about it. Mr. Harris, are you drinking beer? Yeah, let's see y'all um, busting down. You sleep, Mr. Beer, and all that. You know that's illegal, but, right? Hey, look, it don't matter. Yeah, that ain't none of my business. I don't that, know that, nothing. That, I don't see that, right? You can go with the interview. All right, okay, okay, all right, yeah, with. okay, we check this out. Look, from my understanding right now, they yeah. got you in protected custody. Who? They said that they transferred you to this a whole nother prison. You're not at the last place I came to last Right, time. they transferred me to this one. Yeah, so they say you're in protected custody. I mean, is that true? Hell no, I ain't no damn protected custody. Well, I'm a gangster. I ain't gonna protect the cop. Who told you that? Well, they saying right now that you going around snitching on everybody. Look, that's why they had, brought you here. I don't know who hell your resources is, but they told you a damn lie. I ain't no damn way I'm gonna protect the cop. I want to be out there with the people. One of the guards told me. They told, no, I'm already I'm in this damn hole. I'm already in the hole because what I had did, I had cut, I had cut a few, few people stomach open and stuff. Well, that want me. That want me him. Well, I heard that ain't why you were near him. I don't know who. I don't know who telling the truth, you or whoever. But, they were saying that you was actually going around snitching on people. They said you were snitching a lot of people. I ain't snitching Told nobody. a lot of stuff they had. They were making moonshine out of their hair. They said all that stuff. And you really That's told them. That's how did it. Yeah, they I did. I didn't snitch on nobody. And they said you the one trying to act like you had the marijuana and people were getting and smoking and popping pills and stuff. And they said you wouldn't have told who connect was nobody. and where everybody was coming from. I'm just letting you know what they said. So everybody. And they said a fight everybody broke everybody out. Friends, I'm telling you, they said a fight broke out last time or whatever. And they said a couple people got shanked and stuff. And they said. You go around telling everybody who did it. You wrote a statement on people. I'm just telling you what they said. And Ms. Harris, that's very dangerous. I mean, who that's very who dangerous. Who told you that? The, the prisoners told you that? One of the guards said it. And then. Well, the prisoners know? Nah, well, look, a couple I'm be, of them look, do. I'm going to be honest with you. You ain't, ain't going to post it no way. I mean, I was posting for everybody, but do I need to no, if I don't no, post I'm it? Trying, I'm trying to get out of here. So, yeah, I did give a couple names. Because I'm trying to go home with my kids. I did do but that. So, but I did do Mr. that. Mr. Harris, if you did a crime, you got to do the time. I'm letting you know that now. Well, they don't give you right to snitch on nobody. Right. They don't give you no right, right. to snitch on nobody. I'm ready to go home. I can't be in here. Everybody ready to go home. Well, I'm trying did to go you, to did the you do the crime, yes or no? I mean... Did you do the crime, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, I did a damn crime okay. at the same time. I'm trying to get him to go to my kid. My kid need me more. Well, you should have thought about that when my you did a crime. My kid need me more than the damn well, you should have thought about that when you did a crime, Miss Harris. I mean, you know, you should have thought about it when you did a crime. Now you go around telling on everybody, and that's not right. That's not right at all. I'm going to let you know now. But each one well to his own. But you don't want him to get out too much, because then they want to move you somewhere else. If they find it, they really, everybody wants to find out about it, they want to move you again. Yeah, I, I, I asked them to put me in protected custody. You should. That's I the best. That's the best decision. I feel yep, it's the best decision. And while you ain't here living life and drinking beer and all that stuff like that, and they out there, you enjoying your life, right? I'm be honest. Enjoying life. The life. way you is, it's like you are down the free in the free world on the street. I'm telling. You, I been I been there with a war and everything, feet kicked up and all. Miss Harris, that's nothing to brag about. I mean, it ain't. But that ain't nothing time, to brag about. At the same time, I'm trying to live life. I can't live it out there, so I might as well live it in here. Well, I'm hopefully, right. you know, I'm going to let you know now. I'm going to post this. I have to. That's okay. my job. Okay. Now, you post Miss this, and I get shaken in here, and I die. There's who, nothing going to happen to you. That's why, that's why you're in protected custody right now, Miss Harris. Nothing going to happen to you, okay? I'm just doing my job. I got to do a documentary, let them know everything that's going on in the prison. I yeah, try to blow your face out. Yeah. Face I, out and yeah. My name but your inmate, inmate number going to show. No, nah, you need beers out, too. I Miss mean, Harris. I need out. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Look, hey, you think they're going to cut my time down like a little bit for me telling them? I mean, hey, you I can't tell you. I don't really know. You know, I don't really know about this prison stuff and what go on, but I just want you to know that I'm praying for you. All your fans and stuff out there, everybody praying for you, and we hope that you make it home soon. 
But I gotta get rid and wrap it up. It's time for us to go or whatever. And maybe I can come back again and and do another segment, and we can really sit down and talk about your childhood and your upbringing and what made you really decide to you know start doing crimes and stuff. So when 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 you come back and they say, "Hey, him," y'all know what'll happen. Don't say that. You'll be here. You'll be here when I come back.